Okay, so welcome back everybody. Um, it's been a while again. Sorry about that. Um, I've just kind of been figuring out what I want to do with this channel, but now that I'm uploading again, we're going to be back on the full swing of things Monday, Friday, gaming videos, real life content, all of that good stuff. But this video is just like a, what I was up to while I was gone. Um, first thing I did and probably the main meat and pota potatoes of this video is I went camping with my friend Drew and uh, we recorded some footage that was supposed to be a whole video on its own but i missed some things and then just like didn't really record like a intro or an outro for that or like really some stuff in the middle i kind of missed so i'll jump in when i will jump in again when uh that occurs and i'll be like hey this is what happened i forgot to record it whatever and then we'll go back into the video but um yeah i'm gonna shut up now and right now this is what happened when my friend drew and i went camping all right, so we just got to the campsite and um, I've got a friend with me. You want to come say hi? <laughs> Everybody, this is Drew. He's been on the channel a couple times before. Hi, Ian's YouTube. Good <laughs> to be back. <laughs> so we're just going to set up the tent because it's like 6 o'clock right now and sun sets in an hour and setting up in the tent in the dark sucks ass. So enjoy the time lapse of us. Hopefully not feeling too bad. It'll be fun. <laughs> Very. <laughs> That's tent set up. Um, are you hungry? I'm ready for dinner. Same. He's ready to go. Yeah. Catch so? you guys at uh, our kitchen once that's set up. <laughs> What's for dinner? Uh, I forgot what. Oh yeah, stuffed peppers, but not really stuffed peppers. <laughs> so we spent like 30 minutes fucking with this fire. Um, yeah. Looks all right. Um, but we're both pretty hungry now, so I'm gonna start cooking because it's gonna take me around 30-ish minutes to get this dish done, and we're losing light very very fast so I'd rather cook while I can see instead of cooking off of LED lights because that would suck very much. I'll cut back once dinner's done and we're just chilling by the fire. <laughs> Alright so this is what we're, we're working with it's a uh, stuffed peppers with cheese so it's got brown rice, turkey, Italian seasoning and some other seasonings with bell peppers obviously and what else did I throw in here? Onions. Onion and let's... I threw something in with the onion. Oh seasoning on onions. Oh and then uh, some yeah Pasta sauce. Yep. How was it, Drewski? Dude, it's fire. You can snap. Yeah, you don't have to lie. Yeah, you can say <laughs> it's, it's trash. It's fire. Just hot sauce next time, it will be. Yeah, I agree there. Of a... I've, ne I've never had it with hot sauce myself, but I agree that it would be fire. I've honestly never had it with cheese before, but we took one bite and we were, we're both like, cheese. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's we're going to murder the rest of this and then probably play some video games and watch a movie. Alrighty, so it's been like. What time is it? It is. 11.59. 11.59. So it's been like three or four hours since uh, we updated you and we ate. Um, honestly, not a lot's happened. <laughs> we just kind of cleaned up dinner and then got our tent set up for the night and then set up in here. And the setup we're rocking with is um, we got hella snacks. And then we're watching The Gentleman on Netflix using my phone as a hotspot. And uh, we're going to turn these lights off, obviously. But yeah. It's a vibe, honestly. I hope this movie's good. It's gonna be two hours. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't watch the whole thing. It's gonna end at two in the morning. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. We'll update you guys whether we decide to finish it or not. Talk to you when we're in the tent. <laughs> All right, so it's like one in the morning, and um, this is the sleeping situation. This tent's kind of tiny, but can you even see in here? You can. What's up? Good night. <laughs> we're going to bed. We're tired as fuck. See you in the morning. So, good morning. It is now 11 the next day. Um, I've changed, made breakfast, had coffee and donuts. And yeah, we've just been chilling, enjoying this cool weather because uh, back home it's 100 degrees and it's like currently, what is it, like 70 right now? Yeah. 73. Yeah, 73. So, we're just enjoying this cool weather to be honest. And, um,. Yeah, we're about to pack up the tent because uh, we're only doing one night. And yeah, hopefully the tent takes us half the time it took us to set up because trying to figure out where that one pole went was infuriating. <laughs> I didn't zoom out in that last clip, so sorry about that. We were up close and personal. Just realized that now, but before we tear this down, let me just show you what the uh, inside of the tent that we were 
working with. It's like so on the left here we got where I slept um, toilet paper. We kept that by the door in case you know emergencies arose. Um, and then I just had two pillows with my the air mattress that goes in my car. I don't have to put that foot extension on it, so I just didn't. And then uh, Andrew forgot a sleeping bag, so I just gave him my sleeping bag because it wasn't going to be like too too cold. It was only like 52. Yeah. Um, and then he got his pillows and shit. And yeah, it's not much. I mean, it's not much. It's just uh, like a four. This is rated a four-person tent. It barely fit two of us. So Coleman, I don't know what kind of size people you're vetting for these tent sizes, but it's definitely not it. But yeah, so now we gotta gut this and then tear it down. I'm gonna start taking my mattress apart and stuff because that's gonna take me the longest. And that's pretty much the tent setup. So I'm gonna compare the uh, setup time to the teardown time. Hopefully it's nowhere close because that felt a lot faster. So we got Drewski cooking it up. Yes, sir. Tacos. Yes, sir. Tacos for lunch. Honestly, that looks fire. What the fuck are they gonna do? I'm very excited. Listening to Joe Rogan. Not good. You know. Like, even it's just something to listen to. <laughs> He's got fire opinions sometimes. Actually, all the time. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Um, but yeah. I'll update you guys when the tacos are done. There's really not much. We're just kind of cooking and then packing up and leaving. We were low-key supposed to leave like... Yeah. Hour and 40 minutes ago, but you know, fuck it. <laughs> we'll be out of here before the next check-in, so... That's all that really matters. All right, trying the meat for the first time. You said one of these pieces? Yes, sir. Yeah, the dude starts dropping dead at heart attacks, working 90 hours a week. He's just coming home and just eating life. Brother. Gotta feel good, though. That shit's delicious. You're tasting? Yeah. Very good. Oh, I'm about to murder these tacos. Hell yeah. Alrighty, so... This is what my tacos are looking like, courtesy of Chef Drewski. Pretty basic, but... <laughs> hey, hey, they look and smell fire, fucking fire. How did they taste? You already had one. Yeah, the taste test was good. They came out decent, needed them while they're hot, and then get some more on the grill. Fuck yeah, I'm excited. Um, so after we eat, we're gonna pack up here, and then we'll meet you guys on probably my favorite place on planet Earth, the Mogollon Rim. So I'll see y'all when we get up there. And just like that, it's like we were never here. Honestly, we we packed it better together than like what I did by myself. So yeah, it was a fun trip. Uh, definitely I'll have to do it again soon. Yeah. 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 Another season episode three coming. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're headed up to the rim, so I'll probably just use my phone for that. Uh, Cause I'm gonna pack up literally all my gear just so we can leave the rim and go straight home. But yeah, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that all that good shit. I'll probably see you back in my office. Or bedroom office. Why the fuck did I say that? That was so weird. <laughs> I'll see you back at the bedroom. <laughs> Literally, HQ. Alrighty, and then after that trip, uh, we just decided to go home. Like I know I said I wanted to go to the, like my favorite spot on planet Earth, but there just like wasn't enough time. We were kind of in a rush to get home because it just been a long day, and we both wanted to like get home and shower and stuff. So I decided not to go there. We just went straight home. Uh, but after we got home, I went through and. Um, yeah, I actually beat Elden Ring on and got my uh, Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. So um, I actually managed to record like the actual ending process. So here's that footage. He doesn't record or kill itself with me recording this. But um, I just went through and beat the game basically all in one night. I uh, did Malekith, Gideon, Horalu, and then Elden Beast and Radagon. Um, and yeah, now it's time to get the Lord of the Friends of Flame ending. So let's just do it before this fucking recording ends. Um, I did it with no issues. I don't, I think I might have fixed it. I don't really know what was going on with it. Um, which kind of sucks because I could have recorded that whole journey. But honestly, it's probably better that I didn't because, uh, your boy was summoning. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, and definitely Malekith was like the most difficult of those four. I think Radagon, or once I got to the Elden Beast, Elden Beast only took me two attempts, but I think I fought Radagon maybe five or six times. Um, so that was fun. But yeah, without further ado, let's uh, end this series, I guess. Uh, sorry again, I couldn't record because my laptop was shitting itself, but it was just too frustrating to deal with, so I had to um, 
avoid doing so right away. So I don't really know where I'm going to slot this video at. Um, but yeah, here we go. Time to become the Lord of Frenzied Flame. I think this is the ending that I'm going to go into the DLC with. I don't know yet, though, because I'm going to play through the game one more time off camera and just get the regular ending because that's going to be the last achievement that I need. So, but alrighty. I don't know if I can come back in here after I end the game. I rested at the side of Grace and got the uh, Fractured America thing. But I don't know if once you end the game, if you can come back here. But if not, um, I'll be back here fucking a couple weeks. Um, and let's go. Let's become the... Oh, I meant to get Vike's weapon out. Oh, well. Wow. What a tragedy. Except. Yeah. Fall apart, bitch. Let's see it. Yes. <laughs> That's what the fuck is up. Vike, we completed your mission, brother. Hell yeah, twin blades were fun. I uh, I'm glad I decided to do an entire playthrough with using those. Fuck yes. Look at this savage ass. Hand. Oh, I'm burning the entire fucking tree down. Goddamn. Look at me just laughing and sulking. Oh, and then I just combust. Right on. Damn. I actually haven't seen this part actually. That looks trippy. I'm actually glad I'm getting footage of this because I might fucking make that my wallpaper or something. That's really fucking cool. Damn, her hair is black now. Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. To deliver you what is yours. Destined death. What did I get from Malik if, it, if not destined death? Fuck yeah. But um, regardless of where this falls, I want to thank y'all for uh, watching the series and stuff. It was uh, a lot of fun to play through with Elden Ring with an audience or just with somebody else that enjoys. So really appreciate it. And uh, now back to whatever video that y this is a part of. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And yeah, sorry I couldn't record the pa the last like four or five bosses of that game because uh like i said my computer was tweaking hard um i think what the issue was was black ops 3 because for those of you that don't know black ops 3 is like an insanely hacked game right now on pc where like people can install shit on your pc if you're playing it and like all of this other stuff and once i deleted it uh my pc was essentially back to normal so that's lovely um and then after elden ring i didn't really want to start my third playthrough just yet so I went back and uh, finished Hogwarts Legacy. So, for those of you that have made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you. Uh, this is the ending of Hogwarts Legacy because I don't want to like get into the habit of starting series and then just like not ending them. Granted, I didn't fully play through Hogwarts Legacy, but that series wasn't getting any views, so that's why I'm putting this at the very end. So, if you've cared about my Elden Ring or cared about the camping, but you don't care about Hogwarts Legacy, this is your point to tune out, I guess. But um the rest of this video is just going to be hogwarts legacy all right so i need to get to level 34 to do the final mission in this game uh hopefully my recording doesn't fuck up me finishing but this is basically i think i have a little bit of progress to make like i'm almost level 34 so i'm gonna do this little side quest and hopefully when i get to the end of this dungeon or whatever i uh get enough xp to level up because this game is fun like it's overall like a really great game i'll give more of a review at the end it's just a lot like there's a lot of shit to do <laughs> so that further i think i'm about to battle some fairy here just run like they're zombies Incendio. jesus you're kind of fucking me up Defender. Incendio. Damn. Are those spider webs? Well, fuck me, brother. 
Good thing they added an arachnophobia mode because um, I definitely was not jiving with the amount of spiders in this game. Like, I know that's one of the mystical creatures, but, you know, there's also dementors and shit that they could have thrown in this game, but no. Okay, all I did was look up how to get there and not um, any of the puzzles or such inside. I hope there's puzzles inside. I kind of like the puzzles in this game. They're very satisfying to complete. All right. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. All right, hopefully there's not too many spiders in here. Good luck. Head curse breaker. Why does a bank have a curse breaker? Revelio. I'm sure that's probably explored in the books. Or not, because JK Rowling's a shit writer, but you know. We're not talking about that today. Thanks for the coin purses. I hope I'm not supposed to be paying attention to these symbols, because I'm absolutely not. Any spiders? Okay. Every time I see one of those chests, I think I'm getting like a, a trait or not, a tra like whatever the upgrades are for your gear. And it, half the time, it's just garbage. Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a tomb. Revelio. Huh. Well, that was a lot of spiders. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, it's not the look of the spiders that's terrifying, it's more the noises, so... Confringo! Defender! Oh! Jesus Christ! Incendio! Yeah, it's still not fun. Why is it? Puzzle room, I'm assuming. Rebellion. I have to be missing something. What the fuck's the point of this room? Revelio. Oh, this. Oh, I think I have the code for this. Um. Uh, oh, is this it? Okay, you so find out. Let's flip those over. Revelio. We've got something after defeating those in theory. Is that it? Come on, baby! Give me enough XP! You fucking slut. Alright, next mission. I'll let y'all know when I fucking find it. Alrighty, so there was a Merlin trial right outside the cave. The cave entrance is literally right there. Um, we're gonna see if this will push us over the edge. If not, then we'll go do another mission or our, probably an astronomy table, honestly. I don't feel really feel like doing another another mission. Alright. So I've just gotta basically run and jump on all of these platforms. God damn it. Alright, one more of these, and then that should be it. I fucking hope. I hate that it doesn't give you a number on how close you are to the next level up. Can you just use your broom? Sick. This game is super fun, but it doesn't feel all that worth putting, like, so much time and energy into. Where are the other balloons? It's so fucking funny hearing, like, that NPC dialogue where they're like, Oh, Rockwood's not a bitch! And it's like, I've already killed him in the story. <laughs> like, he's dead. Spin the astronomy thing for good luck. Oh, it is the complete wrong way. There we go. Hydra. Oh, you've got to be fucking... Some of these are like real stretches, I'm going to be honest. Come on! 50 XP. This game sucks. 
That was so much effort. I had to waste two whole potions for that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck yes, dude! Finally, six troll bogeys for that. I'll take that. You know what? Since that was on the way, we'll finish our main objective. Which was this Merlin trial. Could it be a Merlin trial? Ooh, ball, where you gotta go? The pulse of No, stop! Oh. Fuck. Alright, this one's a little harder than I was anticipating. I hate my how my character will cast a spell and then decide it's jogging time. Like, no, bro. The pulso, haul ass. Also, clicking the stick shouldn't stop sprinting. That's another fucking complaint I have about this game. I run into it a lot. Yeah. Fucking land in there. Good. That took me way longer than it fucking did. Oh, that's a okay collections. Let's make sure we check all our boxes before we head into this final mission at Hogwarts and wrap up the school year. Damn, dude, this game was actually like, it was so sick, but it was like kind of not what I wanted, but I'm like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I enjoyed a lot of what I got and I don't really know what I wanted to be fully honest with you. Watch me come out of this with a D somehow. How can I learn how to do that? Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. Oh, she better give us a shout out. One, well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Fuck yeah, we got 100 points. I wonder if there's like a different ending where you can I get like, we have more. Our winner. I'm geeking so hard. <laughs> I interacted with maybe two of those people the entire game. <laughs> I don't know if the others have side crests, but basically Gareth and Natsai are the only ones I interacted with. Sick. Glad we won the house cup. And that's it. I had to get to 34 for that. That's just kind of fucking lame. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, final thoughts on the game are... It was fun, like definitely not what I expected, but also a little more than I expected. Like, there was a lot of shit to do. Um, it just got, got like repetitive a little bit. There was there wasn't all the enemy types that I thought there would be. Like I thought you'd be able to fight the centaurs, you'd be able to find uh, dementors around somewhere. Maybe even like go to. I know there's like a Hufflepuff mission where you go to Azkaban. I think there's like something a way you can murder a student and that sends you to Azkaban. But like I don't know something. Dementor related. There was a lot of spells that the enemies use that you just never learn, like Expulso and shit like that. Um, so that was a little annoying. All the stuff that I want could be added with DLC very easily. I mean, that's it's coming from someone with no devel development uh, knowledge, but you know, it sounds like DLC stuff. So yeah, the Hogwarts Legacy is done for me. I know I didn't really record past that first trial, but that's just because that first trial didn't get any views. Much like I am uh, suspecting this section of the video to not be seen by that many. So if you're watching this, thank you. Appreciate you a whole lot. I wish there was more like customization with your ancient magic. Like you can specify what you want to do, like slam them into the ground if you want to smite them with lightning or whatever the other attacks were for ancient magic. Make them small, transform them. Also, why'd those knights just stop showing up? Those are probably my favorite enemy in the game and they were just only like basically the tutorial boss or like the trials things those things were fun as fuck to fight and they were like easy i'd honestly give this game like a seven and a half out of ten but i don't know like specifically where it could improve but yeah i'm like uh, pretty satisfied with my gameplay experience on this game so far i don't feel like i need to 100 percent this game like i have other games in the past which is kind of upsetting because i love harry potter um i might eventually one day come back once i'm caught up with all the other games i want to play as such as all of the Soulsborne games or from soft games however you want to say that um along with jedi survivor and stuff like that but yeah, I want to thank you guys for who, those of you that joined joined me on this journey for the small time that I uploaded it to YouTube. Um, it was definitely a fun game. I got know I sound like I keep saying that because it sounds like I'm trying to convince myself, but I had fun. I just like couldn't tell you like what I was expecting and how it was different, other than I just know it was different than what I was expecting. 
but I wouldn't call that a bad thing. Like again, I, again, I had fun. I put like over 40 hours into this game, so well worth it. Um, yeah, if you like Harry Potter or are interested in Harry Potter and you just like want to play a video game instead of reading a book or watching movies, definitely check out Hogwarts Legacy because it was fun. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this. See you guys next time. Bye. This world is beautiful though. Like, look at that. God damn. And that sunrise. Fucking hell. Like, they killed it with this world. I'll give them that. Alrighty, if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I'll be back to my regular uploads, so you should be expecting a gaming video on Monday. I think I'm going to be playing, like, some PS2 game that I missed uh, growing up that is, like, definitely worth my attention. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what that game is going to be yet. I have a couple days to decide, play, and record, like, you know, make a whole video on it. So, this should be fun. And then we'll be back on Friday with whatever IRL content video I want to make. I think I might make another photography video because those are kind of fun to make. Um, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Monday. Thank you. Peace. Hey.